Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am doing a update video on a very interesting little project from a few months ago, which regards this picture that hung in the, uh, on the wall of Devin Miles' office in the original Knight Rider TV series. And I have a bit of an update and we're going to be having some fun with this. But this is a Quick Bites episode as well, which is one of those videos that's usually without all the usual bells and whistles. But I thought, why don't we have some fun with that? So as you may have noticed, and more astute viewers among you, I'm trying a bit of a different format today. This is being filmed on my parents' original camcorder. And I was using that back when I was a teenager to make little films. And the method then was I didn't have any editing software. I think like any of you that would have done the same thing, I just shot each little scene, pressed pause between them, set up and moved the camera again and hit record to start the next shot. So we're going to be making this whole video without any editing using that, uh, wish me luck, using that format. And um, it's kind of fitting, I think, because it harkens back to the way I was making films back when Knight Rider was originally on TV. See what I did there. Anyway, enough waffling from me. This is meant to be a quick bite after all. Let's get started with the show. Welcome to Retro Recipes. So here is the painting itself. And I need to address a little bit of a misunderstanding that happened. Uh, it's completely my fault. I didn't explain very well what was going on or what the story was. I had said that I, <laughs> I found this on eBay and that I basically recognized it as the one that hangs in Devon, Devon's office, Devon Miles' office in Knight Rider. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second, a little still from the TV show itself. But um, there was a misunderstanding that you thought that I thought that this, that I knew that this was a very famous painting, which it is it's called Bridget Nani. Uh, and you thought I was a bit of a Nani because why would I think that an original painting would be hanging on the set of Knight Rider? Some people even questioned, I suppose it's possible the gallery in Amsterdam loaned it to Universal to put in the, of course, I never thought that at all. What I thought was that this was just an image painted by a local artist in uh, Los Angeles that someone had acquired as a prop for the set because it just looked like a nice image. I had no idea it was actually a famous image. And what confounded that confusion was this is the original. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds mind-blowing, I know. Um, but what I mean by that is it's an, an original. This is paint on canvas. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, close up here. <laughs> Almost guaranteed you won't. But what I can do through the magic of technology is actually zoom in to the paint. And, oh, there we go. And when it's not reflecting off my studio lights, you can actually just about make out <laughs> that it's uh, paint on canvas. Maybe you can't. Either way, you get the point. I didn't know this was famous. So when I saw it on eBay, I thought, this is, uh, this is actual paint on canvas, 100%. Therefore, this must be the one that was in Devon's office, because if it's something painted by a local artist, there's only one of them. What I didn't realize is it's actually uh, someone who's obviously done a very good copy of the uh, original painting. So I hope that explains that I, I wasn't thinking that Knight Rider were using, you know, essentially uh, Mona Lisa style artwork originals in, in the uh, studio there. So now we have this and I expressed my embarrassment in that video. I thought, stupid me, <laughs> I'm an idiot and that would be the end of it. But you guys thought differently, very kindly and seemingly genuinely, many, many of you said, well, hang on, this has now got a story of its own because it was on Retro Recipes. And it's got a story of its own that people in maybe 40 years from now will find you know, an amusing anecdote and look back on and maybe look for copies of this copy. <laughs> I mean, who knows? 
who knows it's a it's a very flattering thought but the point that i came away from and that many of you said again also in the comments was why don't i get a gold frame like the one that devon had and mount this properly up in the studio somewhere maybe over there with that gold frame and make it part of the history of the channel and uh, a little nod to Knight Rider as well. After all, here's an original. Now here is a little clip of the painting. Oh. It's often out of the frame actually in Just these fresh. episodes I've got. Strawberries and cream. But there it is. And the single yellow rose. Michael's idea. Michael oh, flirting with Bonnie. Bonnie. I hope you like it. <laughs> I love it, kids. Just what I need. But here's a much better shot of it. Uh, this is the episode Nobody Does It Better, episode 20 of Night Rider, and there is our painting, uh, painted I think in 1827 by Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot. Again, no I didn't think that was the original, which actually is in a gallery in Canada. Uh, clearly a print, and unlike our original. But for the purposes of our video, what I need you to pay attention to is the frame because we are going to put a delicious frame, a bit like this golden one, onto our painting right now. Is that okay with you, Michael? Oh. I was so sure all that was going on was a little <laughs> hanky-panky between Julian and Connie. Yeah, not her best look. So, Hold on, Devon seems to be doing an unboxing. Yeah, let me get back together. What on earth is here? Oh, Julian told me to tell you that it is a small token of his appreciation. What am I supposed to do with it? Here, I'll show you. Darren, I think you'll find it rather amusing. Really? <laughs> Why should Darren not get hot? Never. <laughs> Thank you for that, Devon. Uh, I have stepped into the makeup department of the Retro Recipe Studio. For those of you that wanted to see the actual camera that we're using, here it is. You can literally see the camera we're using. <laughs> um, this is a Sony CCD TRV series, and I've adapted it with a little wireless mic uh, stuck onto here, plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack, and there's the other end of the wireless mic. I can't show you much more of the camera or go out of shot, but that at least explains the incredible, incredibly crystal clear Dolby surround sound quality that you're not hearing. <laughs> As you can see, I still use Sony cameras to this day. Uh, check out my link in the description for all the tools we use and all the equipment we use like that. But um, of course, inside the camera is PCBs, are PCBs. Probably, possibly, you never know, made by PCB way! Where you can, of course, get great PCBs like these, starting at just like these, starting at just five bucks. Because, uh, because, uh, because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifractics Camcorder Buttons. Hmm, what's this one do? slightly difficult filming at various angles here but uh, here's the important bit and what we have to do now is of course take it out of the original frame Canvas. By the way, it does say here, it looks like Ian S. Kim, 84. That was another reason, of course, why I thought it was an original from the show, because the show, uh, or at least maybe the episodes where this appeared, were starting in 1984. And this, although it was sold to me from Texas, uh, it was painted 
and picked up by the guy who was selling it in Los Angeles. So it all made sense, but anyway, it wasn't to be. You've heard that story before. If you haven't, click up here. spiky but it's out and as for this frame I might I might actually genuinely put that on eBay and I'm not sure <laughs> <coughs> yeah, see, see my editing uh, if you check the description to this video if there is a link and I have put this on eBay well you'll see it there and we'll give uh, proceeds to charity tool that I probably should have used to begin with. Let's see if we can prize Don't even need my special tool. It's called a hamster. Hammer. Hammer sandwich. Says when I need them. That's what I want to know. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Okay, get my hamster. <laughs> Love it when a nail lands in your crotch. Isn't that always the best way? Okay, put that on eBay. that frame right there which means uh, you can ask Devon it's unboxing time the nice thing about VHS or high 8 quality is I don't have to hide addresses because you can't read them anyway I can't wait to see this. <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh my god. Guys, this is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Wow. And look at the attention to detail. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not gold leaf, it's just gold spray paint, of course. But isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Really, actually, uh, something deserving of that kind of a piece. Oh, let's get it in there. Uh, I can see evidence of the gold overspray, so anyone that was getting excited? It's not real gold. It should just fit because I had this custom made and it does. Oh yes, wow. 
That's so satisfying. Look, the way it just drops in. <laughs> Shouldn't bang it like that. But yeah. Really smooth. Beautiful. Now, uh, hello, thank you for joining me here on the floor. Uh, the obvious thing to do is to use the same nail holes. I can actually push the nail pretty much through into there and just bang it into this frame. This frame is nice and thick, and obviously made of wood as well. Do block your ears though, because I can't guarantee how the audio mixing and the automatic gain control will protect you on this camera. So, ready? All right, and just as a finishing touch, I've added duct tape all the way around to keep it in there nice and secure and clean. I just didn't want to subject you to the sound of ripping this out four times. But now that's mounted in there, let's go mount it on the wall. And I think, obviously we've got this lovely big studio here. Uh, I gave you a tour of this recently, actually, when PCB Way came to visit they arrived through the TARDIS, of course. Um, but as far as wall space goes, I mean, I've got this painting here, but this is the original that hung in my parents, in my family home, above that actual Apple IIe. And you saw me install that in my uh, recreating my childhood bedroom computers video. But it doesn't really leave us a lot of wall space. Um, but I think up there, going to be the perfect place. What do you think? <sighs> Wish me luck. Stud fight, oh, a uh, stud finder. Oh, God, it keeps, it keeps finding me for some reason. This is a stud finder. <laughs> I'm gonna use this to see if I've got a good, uh, good grip area here for a screw or a nail. Will we get lucky? No, because of course the stud is by the door frame. And the next one's over there. So, raw plug, it is or a, what do you call them in America? I can't, can't remember now. A screw holder. No, I don't know. Some, sometimes I think they're called a dowel, but I always say raw plug. But this is a special one for drywall. Just like my humor, this wall is very dry. <sighs> so I go down an inch from there. Let's see if this works. screw in there and we'll be nearly done. Did you think you were coming here to watch me put a screw in a, a wall at a great distance <laughs> with a terrible quality 4x3 camcorder image? Well tough, that's what you get. <sighs> and if you don't like it, screw you. I'm joking, of course. For a power screwdriver, it's not got a lot of power. That's okay. There you go, that should do it, eh? What you're listening to, by the way, is the first song I ever recorded and ever wrote. Um, this is playing back on my Amiga what I recorded it using, I think, on Octomed, if I remember rightly. 
Not bloody bad. All right, you ready for the big reveal? The studio continues to evolve. I said we were going to have a lot of fun, and I'm not done yet. I don't think that was fun enough on its own, because I've had one more little idea. This is a Knight Rider themed painting now in our world, so it's a little strange there's no Knight Rider on there. But then of course I noticed this bridge, the bridge at Narni itself. If you were to want to get across this river, and you were Michael Knight, uh, chasing a diamond thief or something. How would you get across that river in kit? Well, the bridge is blown. There's no way that a car could cross this river. Or is there? Turbo boost kit. Pew! Pew! Ah, that looks really good through the camera, actually. I wonder if that's similar to the effects they used when they were making the actual show. Probably not. Um, what I've done <laughs> is take uh, this kit Knight Rider model, this one very one here, which was made by Jada. Thank you, Jada. Uh, I, well, no, I'm thanking you. I bought it with my credit card at Target. But um, there is Kit Turbo Boosting off. And he is held up, you can't even see it, through the magic of 4x3 low resolution by a couple of little bits of cotton up there supplied by Lady Fractic. And from Kit's incredible turbo boosting special effects off of the bridge at Nani, it's time for this Nani to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this rather nostalgic visit to the Retro Recipes kitchen. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below. And cheerio. If you would like to be one of the lucky channel supporters featured in this almost flawless recreation of the Star Wars opening sequence, you can do so by pointing your web browsing device at http colon backslash backslash perifractic.com backslash forward slash support perifractic.com slash support. Stopped.